What's going on YouTube? How you doing? Uh, haven't made a video in a while and mainly because I had hurt my back and just that kind of a setback just kind of spun everything out of control. So I just hadn't been painting, I hadn't been modding, um, hadn't been doing much, just kind of recovering, but just haven't been get starting to really get into the swing of things. And I have started to do some more printing, getting back into painting again, and um, we'll be getting back into modding as well. But something happened that uh, with my printer, and uh, just wanted to make a quick video about it. And this is with my resin printer, the Elegu Mars, where the LCD screen um, had some dead pixels. Um, I didn't really get a great shot of the screen showing the dead pixels, but I'll flash it up here in a second. Um, and as you can see, the dead pixels on the LCD screen, when I looked at it, looked like a splatter mark, which was odd, but ultimately it had to be replaced. So I ordered a new replacement and just in my fumbling around wanted to share some knowledge just in case if other people ran into the same issue. One thing I did find out was that with the Elegu Mars, there is an A, a B, and a C version. And I believe this corresponds with the type of motherboard um, that you have. And it's really just kind of with the placement of the components. And I believe in a couple cases, it's with the type of connector that you use to attach the LCD screen on, screen on. I have the C version, but in the video I was looking at, it was the A version. And the difference in uh, getting everything apart is that in the, I believe the A, possibly the B version, you separate the ribbon cable that attaches the touch screen with the motherboard. In the C version, you don't have to separate this cable and in some inst instances, when people have removed that, they basically said it bricked their machine. They weren't able to get the touch screen working. It would just show a solid white screen. So as I kept doing more research in my panic mode, um, there was a, a buried comment that said they were able to get the ribbon cable back into place. You just had to push harder than you normally would think you would have to for an electronics cable, especially a ribbon cable being pretty delicate. And so I made a couple attempts and I was happy to report that I did not break my machine. Um, so, but I did remove the tape, so I do still have to tape it up, but I will show you guys what I mean by that. So let's move on over to the machine itself. So here we are at my machine. You can tell that it has been removed. The ribbon that I was speaking about, you can see here. So this is the ribbon that in some instances they tell you to remove. Uh, this originally had a piece of tape over it. I removed the tape. I slid that back out and Trying to push this actually back in, you do have to use more force, but you also have to be very careful not to, you know, bend or, you know, crimp the ribbon cable as well. But once that's in, you know, definitely try to keep it, uh, leave it alone, uh, and, you know, put some tape back on there. For in, in most cases, when people are removing this, this is the LCD screen itself that I have to replace. Um, much thinner than I thought it would be, um, but you basically have to pop this off and then uh, replace the new one. And this, for this cable, it attaches at this point here. In some instances, you it the this cable would have to attach on the inside of the motherboard, and I believe that's with the A version. I'm not sure what the B version has. Um, but in my case as well, it's just this type of connector. And then that is also held in place here with a piece of tape. So I'm actually still waiting for my replacement LCD screen. It should be here sometime today. The other thing that I might need that I'm not sure of is tape for the actual LCD screen here. I don't know if the replacement comes with tape 
but as you can see here there it's black lined and that's basically the tape and so if I do need replacement tape um, I'll need to scrape all this off get some I think it's two millimeter tape that you would use for you know basic electronics laptops uh, things like that it's a double-sided tape and then I'll have to buy some put it put that down here and uh, reattach the screen hey guys welcome back uh, so this was just delivered to the house so um, I've already unboxed it <laughs> and opened it up but I uh, just wanted to show you guys uh, what you get so uh, this is obviously um, a direct replacement from Elegoo the link that I clicked on to purchase the screen I just made sure it was the same so I didn't realize I was getting a direct you know uh, replacement from uh, Elegoo brand I know that various printers can use similar or different brands of LCD screens as long as they're the same or as long as you know the the resolution and everything and the size obviously works so um, but it was the one I clicked on here's what I got so you know yours could be different if you get a different brand of LCD screen uh, so it just depends so on opening you know it's this nice little white thing and it's actually foam covered in here I'll take this out so I believe that these strips across here are the double-sided tape um, like I said I haven't actually removed everything out of here uh, this is this is the interface for I think the A or the B version you stick this on the end here to, to mate it to the motherboard and there is another piece of tape here and this will stick onto this end uh, to it to secure it to the motherboard so looks like all the pieces are here so I'm going to attempt to um, scrape off the goo from the uh, original LCD screen um, try to put this back together um, just because it's kind of hard to finagle the area and myself and a camera but um, I will also they also do have a link here about um, going and looking at the video for replacing this I will link it down below as well and it does a pretty decent job but it's kind of what you expect uh, there isn't anything too crazy the removing the ribbon cable for the front panel was a little little panicky at the moment but I think just doing the straight replace here uh, with the old LCD screen should be pretty self-explanatory so I will get that done and we'll come back here hey guys so I wanted to just quickly go over the LCD screen itself so this is my old LCD screen I've got the new one here next to me but in case if you didn't know they do have a protective uh, plastic cover on both sides so you have to make sure when you install these that you remove the plastic sheet from the top and from the bottom as well there is going to be a tab on one end for one and then on the other end here for the other I think this end is the tab for the top the end down here next to the ribbon is for the bottom there is another clear tab here that's on this ribbon this does not come off so make sure when you are removing your plastic um, the protective plastic from this it's just off of the actual face of the screen not the one that's on the ribbon cable so just wanted to give you guys that quick info all right so this is just the first test that I tried to do with the new LCD screen installed I did not tape down the connector yet I just put it into place just so I can just check to make sure everything was working well as you can see when I run through these couple of tests the screen lights up but it's kind of dull and in the exposure test it doesn't actually show the square so I wasn't sure if this was defective I was trying to figure out what could be the issue and what it turned out was the connection on the motherboard 
it needed to be pushed in just a little bit more and it needed to be slid over like just a tiny bit so there was a little bit of a click I don't know if that's the same for everybody so after a couple of attempts you can see here the exposure test reflects what is on the screen everything should be working fine so I've put my machine back together again I haven't actually tried a test print yet but fingers crossed everything looks pretty good and I should be able to get back to printing and so that is the process for replacing the LCD screen um, if you have any questions you know let me know I might be able to answer them I might not um, I believe this process is probably going to be the same whether you have the Elegu Mars the Pro the 2 the Saturn or any other uh, type of printer I believe that's all roughly the same process Hopefully all the replacement screens come with the tapes that you need. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions, let me know. All right, guys, see you later.